Hello, I'm Glenn Murphy with Burroughs Welcome Science Explorers. Today we're at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill where I've been talking with mathematical biologist Dr. Laura Miller. We've seen Dr. Miller create virtual animals and learned how jellyfish and insects move through thick gloopy water and gases. But what can we do with this information? How can we use it for the betterment of mankind? Well, I guess we could just build an actual jellyfish robot. And in fact, a team from Virginia Tech have done just that. In 2009, they built a hydrogen-powered robo-jelly, which uses low-energy pulses to push itself through the water. That's all well and good, but it seems like a lot of effort to go to just to watch a robot jellyfish squidge around in an aquarium, right? Well, there's a little more to it than that. The robo-jelly was actually designed for the US Navy as an underwater surveillance vehicle, one that could squidge around oil rigs, naval bases, and other high-risk targets looking for hidden submarines and explosives. Mount a camera on it, and boom, you've got an underwater spy bot that even James Bond would be proud of. Dr. Miller's work with insects could lead to the next generation of airborne spy bots too. The US Air Force is already building MAVs, or micro-aerial vehicles, that mimic flies and beetles. With a better understanding of how insects swim through the air, we could build smaller, lighter, and more agile flying spy bots, ones that could slip unnoticed into enemy hideouts. This brings a whole new meaning to planting a bug. Dr. Miller's work may even end up leaving the planet in the form of robot probes for space exploration. An airborne robot probe could swim through the thick atmosphere of Mars and cover far longer distances than a robot rover on the ground. And how about sending a jellyfish probe to Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons and one where scientists believe life could be lurking beneath the ice-covered oceans? Who knows, maybe it'll make first contact with a European alien. That's the thing about science, you never quite know where a new idea can lead. Join us next time for more Science Explorers, making discoveries in our world and beyond. <laughs>